The Story of Capcom, a rec 1980s, the decade of magic, the early years of Capcom. The 1980s was a revolutionary era for the gaming industry and Capcom was at the forefront of this movement. The company was founded by Kenzo Sujimoto in June 1983 and the debut of their first arcade game, Volgus, marked the birth of a now legendary company. Volgus was the first development of its kind in Japan, and the start of Capcom's now iconic run of classing arcades and console games. However, up until this time, Capcom was still a small-scale operation which operated under the name IRM Corporation. The company was initially created in May 1981 and focused on the creation of design, concept and board game material. It was not until after the creation of Volgus that Capcom shifted their focus to video gaming. After the success of Volgus, Capcom continued to define the 80s gaming scene with some of its most iconic arcade titles. In 1984, the company released the third-person shooter game, 1942, which was a huge commercial success and the first to introduce the now famous Nintendo Hard difficulty. 1984 was also the year that saw the release of Ghosts and Goblins, Commando and their iconic platformer, Mega Man. Capcom's domination of arcades continued into 1985. In February, they released the first in their long line of beat-em-up games, Section Z and Trojan. Both games were revolutionary in the way that they featured side-scrolling elements which had not been seen before. Additionally, 1985 saw the beginnings of the Mega Man series, and later the release of Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3, as well as the first in their now legendary fighting game series, Street Fighter.